one at Gadlack Stadium. The Mosley Dolphins aiming for their first undefeated regular season since 1981. But to do that, they had to get past the Gadsden County Jaguars. Starting off on a bit of a sad note, though, Mosley honoring fallen teammate senior Avery Sanders before the game. Sanders died in a motorcycle accident on Sunday night. Tonight, Mosley commemorated his life on senior night and had 44 seconds of silence as 44 was his number on the team and the squad joining Sanders family for that moment before kickoff here. Lots of 44s on helmets and cheerleaders bows. The scoreboard also said that the ball was always on the 44 yard line and that yard died black as well. Now on to the highlights and Sanders would be proud of how his brothers on defense played, but early on Mosley quarterback Cole Horton swarmed by a Gadsden County lineman for the sack. Then later in that drive, Horton trying to gain back that yardage, but his long ball picked off by Cameron Upshaw, who takes the return 10 yards upfield before being taken down. But the Jaguars couldn't take advantage of the interception and running back John Terrius Thomas popped by Jordan Whitley for a loss here. Now the Dolphins back with the ball and on fourth down and give it to big man Randy Pittman who trucks through Leonard Arrington to move the chains. And when it ain't broke, why fix it? The Dolphins go back to the Florida State commit, but this time the Jaguars are prepared. They bring the house to stop Pittman on fourth and short. But once they get the ball back, Gatson facing their own fourth inside, their own 25. They decide to go for it. Thomas is helped by a shove from his teammate for the first. The bold play paid off as he's able to cut past a slip defender and gash the Dolphins for a very big game deep into Mosley territory a couple plays later. That would set up this third down and Thomas nearly finds his way to pay dirt, but is stopped just short of the goal line. Gatson would have to settle for a field goal to make it three nothing. This game going to double overtime, a true battle. But in the end, it was the Jaguars who held on to win it 23 to 17.